again in a few minutes. But now of the 7 billion people in the world, Thomson Reuters chose just 3,200 for its recent list of the world's most influential scientific minds. One of them is we're lucky enough to have in at New Mexico this morning. who's recognized for a groundbreaking mathematical model that he's using to predict cancer patients' response to treatments. Here now on this award and what he does at the UNM Cancer Center is Dr. Vittorio Cristini of the University of New Mexico Cancer Center. Doctor, congratulations and good morning. Good morning. All right, it's a pleasure Thank to you. have you here. Uh, let's talk about this. An award, these things don't come out every day. You are one of the 32 most influential, 3,200 most influential scientific minds yeah. in the whole world. That's quite an accomplishment. Yeah, the, the, it is. I, I'm still shocked. And um, let, me, uh, let me explain to you a little bit. It's uh, in all disciplines of science, and it's done every 10, 15 years. So this reflects really the research and the papers published over the past decade, decade and a half. And in uh, my category is mathematics. And so it's 99 people altogether. In 99 worldwide. in the yeah. whole world? Yes. Wow. Yes. So what did you think when you first found out that you were given this award? I think I better get it and uh, run before they ch <laughs> change their mind. <laughs> no, 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 no. They gave it to you for a reason. It is for this mathematical model you designed that helps predict how cancer patients are going to react to some of their therapy. Uh, actually, it is uh, for that that line of work but also for other important contributions I've given in a, a number of other fields of science. Okay. And um, yes, but I, I believe you want to talk about the yeah, math model. I do so. want to talk about this. So if you can break it down to yeah. someone on, on a very basic level, yeah. what is this? How so, long did it take you to create it and how are people using it? So it took several years and um, uh, by studying patient data and uh, the basic idea is that uh, cancer is not just a biological problem. It's not just about the molecular biology of the cell. It's as much as uh, a physics problem because it's a very complex uh, three-dimensional object. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, in particular, there are, uh, because of that, it has lots of barriers, physical barriers that prevent cancer drugs to get to all the cells in an amount that's sufficient to kill them. Sure. And so that's what I study. I study the physics of cancer. I study how that works, how this transport is impaired, and what to do to make it better. So the, the formula that you are talking about uh -huh. does exactly this. It tells you, patient-specific, what kind of response to chemotherapy you can expect for each individual based on the physical properties of uh, his or her cancer. And I Such as, say, the blood volume content of the tumor, for example. That would be one physical property. Sure. And this helps patients because, obviously, the better they respond, the less they're going to need. You don't have to try a couple different ones. Yeah. So if you know before any treatment what kind of response you can expect, it can help you design treatment in a very individualized manner. Okay. Every patient is different. The tissue is different. And you can target the treatment to work best in each case. That's the idea. So we are uh, starting clinical trials okay. here at the UNM Cancer Center uh, to test this. Any idea when it could be used widespread? How long do the trials take? I think uh, we need to, do, to experiment for a few more years. And then if everything goes well, and uh, pr probably the model will need to be refined and sure. improved and, and, make, and made also more specific for every different type of cancer. And, uh, and then uh, one can think of starting another uh, uh, set of clinical trials where you actually use the model to change treatment. Yes. Okay. That is incredible. Just another one of the many incredible minds we have here at New Mexico at the UNM Cancer Center. Dr. Vittorio Cristini, congratulations Thank on you. the award. Thank you for being here in Thank New you. Mexico for doing all the work here. Appreciate it. We'll talk with you soon about how the trials are going, hopefully. Thank it you. is now 729. Stick around. You can find out more about him and the UNM Cancer Center, by the way, on our uh, website, casa.com. Click on the blog. 